Hello everyone. Hope you all guys are safe and healthy at your home. Dear students, today we are going to discuss cardiovascular fitness or uh, measurement of cardiovascular fitness. Okay, this is part of unit six, physical education class twelve. The name of this unit, this chapter is uh, test and measurement in sports. Okay, uh, I already prepared uh, the videos uh, of motor fitness, different uh, motor fitnesses. and i already shared with you if you haven't watched these videos yet you can watch after this video okay i have given the link of these all the video in the description you can check so today we are going to talk about the cardiovascular fitness what is cardiovascular fitness first understand it the ability of the blood vessels heart and lungs to take in okay transport and utilize oxygen what is cardiovascular understand it once again the ability of blood vessels it is the ability of blood vessels heart and lungs to take in okay transport and utilize oxygen this is all comes under uh, cardiovascular fitness now under this topic today we are going to uh, discuss uh, on uh, two different tests the first one is harvard step test which is very important okay so let's know about it what is it Harvard step test this test was developed by Bruha okay uh, in 1943 this is a very important point uh, it can be asked in very short answer or mcq the harvard step test was developed by who so the answer is it is developed by bruha when in 1943 another point uh, test this test was developed on 220 college men okay this was developed on 220 college men or college student we can say so now the equipments which equipments are required for harvard step test let's know about it uh, we need a bench 20 uh, inch or 50 cm we need a bench which height should be at least 20 inch or 50 cm uh, we need metronome or tape recorder these are the equipments which helps to count uh, the Uh, their test okay with the help of these equipments we used to check their uh, we used to count their test and we used to take their records so uh, this is how the step test which is developed by bruha in 1943 test was developed in 220 college men and equipments in bench we required bench or metronome or tape recorder so now let's know what is the procedure of this test procedure procedure for howard step test now let's know about it so the first point is subject will perform step up and step down on bench okay subject means the participant the participant will perform the step and step up and step down on the bench the height of bench is 20 inches next point is duration of test will be 5 minute at the rate of 30 step per minute so very important point it is uh, the duration of this test is 5 minute and the rate of Uh, 30 step per minute means this uh, subject will do 30 steps per minute in this test next point is after completion of step or uh, steps or 5 minute tester needs to take pulse rate heart beat rate what we will do at last after completion of that test we will check the heart rate or pulse rate of the subject but how we will check this pulse rate what is the procedure Uh, next procedure of it let's know about it take three pulse rate or heart beat what we will do after the test we will take three time pulse rate of the subject we will instruct the subject first to sit on the chair after test okay once he will sit on the chairs then we will check three time his pulse rate but uh, duration between this uh, checking of the pulse rate there there is a gap so how to check so first time we will check his pulse rate between 1 to 1.5 minutes means we will give him 1 minute break okay once he will sit in the chair he will uh, rest for 1 minute then we will check first time his pulse rate so this is first time after 1 minute rest now second time we will check after 30 second rest okay between 2 to 2.5 minute okay uh, first we have given rest of 1 minute then we check first time his pulse rate then second again we will give him 30 second break we will check second time his pulse rate between this timing and again we will give him 30 second break after checking of second time we will give him again 30 second break 
and then we will check third time between 3 to 3.5 minute. So in this way we will check three time pulse rate of the subject. But the point is here uh, take pulse of 30 seconds. Every time we will take the pulse rate only for 30 seconds. Okay. So this is the procedure to taking pulse rate or heartbeat. Okay. Now what is the fitness index for this test? How to solve it? So the formula for this test is duration of exercise in second into 100 upon 2 into sum of 3 pulse rate. Okay, this is the formula. Formula is uh, duration of exercise in second into 100 upon 2 into sum of 3 pulse count. Whatever the 3 pulse count will become the sum of these 3 pulse count. So, this is the formula. So, let me uh, tell you one example. With the help of example, definitely you will be able to understand the all procedure of this test. How a step test. Example. So, for example, the subject name is Rakis. Okay, there is a person. We are going to conduct the test of Rakis. So, total duration of test is 300 seconds, 5 minutes. Okay, uh, measurement of heartbeat of Rakis. So, when we have conducted the test of Rakis and we have given uh, to time to sit for rest, 1 minute rest, and after 1 minute, we check his uh, heartbeat. So, the first time the heartbeat is 96 okay during 1 to 1.5 minute second time the heart rate is 84 during 2 to 2.5 minute and third time uh, his heart rate is 60 when we check third time during 3 to 3.5 minute so this is these are the heart rate which we count three time of rakes so now uh, fitness index according to formula where when we keep these all the things uh, in the formula so it will come 300 into 100 upon 2 uh, into 96 plus 84 plus 60 so when you will solve it the answer will come 20 uh, sorry 62.5 okay then it is called fi score of rakes what is it it is a fi score of rakes now um, with the help of a table we will uh, we will know the six uh, 62.5 score fi score falls in which category there are different categories um, with the help of this category only we can uh, know the have person is good healthy means in which uh, category he is so i'm going to share with you the table then you will able to understand this uh, rakes fi score uh, 62.5 falls in which category with the help of this table we can know the person uh, whose FI score in between these numbers we can check his uh, category in which category his cardiovascular fitness is okay so uh, the excellent for boys is uh, greater than 96 for girls greater than 86 okay in our example we, uh, we have checked the FI score of Rakesh which is 62.5 okay 62.5 let's check this first so Rakesh falls in which category he is a man so male so we will check in the boys category uh, he he falls in this category means in low average category okay so like this uh, excellent category i already told you if someone has fi score greater than 96 means excellent in girls greater than 86 uh, it is again uh, good excellent okay uh, if someone falls between 83 to 96 it is again good and here in girls 76 uh, to 85 it is again here good score so in average category for boys 68 to 82 uh, and for girls 61 to 75 low average category is 54 to 67 for boys for girls 50 to 60 and the poor category is uh, if someone's fi score is less than 54 in boys and if someone's girls uh, lower than 50 means less than 50 if i suppose there so c or he will be in the poor category so this this is the table with the help of this table we can check the category of any one means for the boys also for the girls also as we check of rackets if i score 62 he falls under low average category after the test example now let's know the advantages and disadvantages of Howard step test. Now first know about the advantages. So the first is this test requires minimal equipments. Okay, with the very less equipments we can conduct this test. 
it bears low cost okay we don't need too much equipments we need bears low cost also okay it is very comfortable uh, it can be self administrated this test anyone can administer it for by self also okay large group can be tested okay we can uh, test in the large group these are the advantages now let's know what is disadvantages of this test so the first is it is not easy to perform for people having shorter height yes uh, so the people having shorter height it is really difficult for them second is obese people cannot perform well yes who the people are obese okay fatty they also uh, having difficulty to perform this test so these are the advantages and disadvantages of harvard step test so this is all about harvard step test i hope you understood about this test now let's move to our next test and let's know about that so the next test is rock court walking test okay so we are going to discuss uh, under it the walk court one mile walk test it is also known as one mile walk test okay so uh, in this test what is the procedure let's see the subject is instructed to walk fast enough so that their heart rate is above 120 beats per minute okay subject will be instructed to walk fast as he can and uh, it should, the heart rate should be above 120 at per minute at that time okay we will uh, check the view to max of subject with the help of this uh, test now what is vo2 max vo2 max is the capacity of individual uh, during uh, workout his when his heart beats goes to the supreme level or we can say in the higher level at that time whatever the capacity he is having to inhale the oxygen per minute that is called vo2 max okay vo2 max of uh, uh, that person so well, this is the formula to take out vo2 max for this uh, uh, test So what is formula? Let's see once. It is 132.853 minus 0.3877 uh, equal to is equal to is in years minus 0.0769 square to weight in pounds minus 3.2649 square to uh, a walk time in minute and second minus 0.1565 Square to heart rate beats minute plus six point six point three one five. Okay, and whatever it is the gender, male or female. So this is the formula, and uh, for this test, now let's know a little more about this test with the help of an example. Example for rock court walking test. Okay, so the subject name is Rahul. For example, there is a person who is Rahul. We are taking the rock court test of Rahul. Age of Rahul is 40 years. Okay, his body weight is 165 pounds. Uh, duration 13 minute and 54 second, which is 13.9 minute. Okay, 13 minute and uh, 54 second, which is 13.9 minute. Heart rate is 140 beats per minute, and gender he is male. Okay, so what is his view to make? We want to max according to that formula which I just now I told you. Uh, the uh, we want to max of Rahul is forty three point six seven nine three nine. Now this is the we want to max of Rahul whose data is here. You can see his age, body weight, duration of test, heart rate, and all. So according to that all uh, Rahul's we want to max is forty three point six seven nine. Three nine. Now we have to check in which category this number, this VO two max, falls. With the help of this uh, uh, table, this chart, you can check the uh, category of Rahul. Uh, according to this table, we can say uh, we can if you can see uh, Rahul's VO two max falls in under good category. Okay, this is the chart of uh, for men. Now uh, you can see the chart for. Uh, male females means for the girls so this is uh, the example for uh, rock court test and these are the tables for the rock court test uh, now let's know what are the advantages and disadvantages of rock court walking test advantages and disadvantages of rock court walking test so let's know first the advantages of this test so the first is due to low intensity of the test it can be administered to all uh, ages okay in the all the ages we can administer this test second is it is easy to conduct okay it is very easy to conduct 
Number third point is it can be safe, admin, self administrated. Okay, it can be administered for self. So the next and fourth point is larger group can be uh, accommodated. Okay, it, we can uh, conduct this test for a larger group also. So now disadvantages. What is the disadvantages for this of this test? So it is difficult for participants to walk instead of running as walking sometimes uh, strain the muscles okay what happens it is little uh, difficult for the participants to uh, instant uh, running as walking okay uh, in this condition sometimes strain and sprain uh, problems uh, occurs to the participants so this is all about rockport walking test and i already told you about the harvard step test so this is all for today i hope you understood about these both the tests so thank you be happy be healthy hey there subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon